My name is Miriam Fakron. I'm a product specialist with Snap-on Business Solutions, and I'd like to show you the Create Estimate feature, which is now available with 4DPC5. The Create Estimate feature allows you to take a list of parts that you have selected to your pick list and transfer them over to an estimate. You can then choose to email or print the estimate or save it for yourself for future reference. Once the parts are on your list, click on Manage Create Estimate that transfers the parts into a estimate template the estimate template has several fields that are available to be filled in as you see fit, all optional. There is a PO number field, an account number field, contact information, your name, dealer message, anything that you want to convey as part of the estimate, your customer information over here on the right, the VIN number displayed for the parts that we just looked up along with the make, year, and model. And then the actual part numbers from the pick list appear here in the body of the estimate. You can choose to display part numbers or not. Right now, as you see, only the part description is displayed. By unchecking this box, I can also display the part numbers on the actual estimate. Down in this section, several other fields that are optional. If you choose to add labor time to your estimate, you can go ahead and enter your labor hours along with your labor rate and you'll see the labor time gets calculated and added to the estimate. You can also add optional shipping charges if you were shipping the part to the customer. And then in this field right here, you can add a price multiplier. So if I wanted to give this customer a 20% discount, let's say, on retail price, I could put a 0.8 price multiplier, and you'll notice that the prices get adjusted based on the discount. On the flip side, if I wanted to charge this customer, let's say 25% over retail, I could enter a 1.25 price multiplier. And once again, you'll see that price multiplier reflected in the adjusted price column. And lastly, you can enter a tax rate. The tax rate, uh, let's say, is 6%. And you'll notice that the tax gets calculated and added to the estimate total. Once you have everything filled out that you need, you can save this estimate by clicking on the Save button, and this will get saved as a PDF document on any specified location on your hard drive. You can also print or email the estimate to a customer. Once you print or email, the only price reflected to the customer is the adjusted price column. So everything else that you see here is for your information only. Once again, this is the Create Estimate feature, and it can be used in conjunction or in place of the estimate feature that you currently use with your DMS system.